I'm here today with fellow artist and educator Raquel Redmond from Brava Art Press. Raquel focuses on early and primary art education, but the following techniques are suitable for artists of all ages. Thank you, Jennifer. Good morning, good afternoon. I'm Raquel Redmond from Brava Art Press, and we are presenting today a tutorial on how to make a monoprint. I got here some uh, samples to show of some monoprints we have done before using, in this case, two colors and some textures. And this one is uh, a monoprint with two colors. And here we have a sample that very young children can do. It's a very, it's an easy one in black and white one color. To do these prints, we have used something called the jelly pad. The jelly pad feels, it's like a rubbery, transparent, feels like jelly actually. And to give you a little bit of history on the jelly pad, uh, we asked us just to make jelly prints, we used to call them years ago. And to make the jelly prints, we had to actually cook the jelly, heavy jelly, and put that in the fridge. And one was set. When it was set, we used to do the jelly prints. Now we have the jelly pads that you can find in any art supply store. Apart from the jelly pad, we need other things. We need paint and to print this, uh, to make these prints. And today we are using chromacryl acrylic essentials. That's we have different colors. With, they're all here, also available in the art stores. Uh, we have uh, the trays for the paint that we are going to use for the uh, to, to put on the jelly pad. Paper. We have a, um, about this size paper, and we have a small size paper, and bits and pieces here to actually create this monoprints, an old doily that you can buy from an art shop. Uh, some tools that uh, we can make out of cardboard. Just um, a, a stick a little bit sticky tape here, roll up the cardboard. Um, other very simple tools like um, plastic cutlery, uh, bubble wrap is really good, and some, some of these uh, uh, rubber tools that you can scratch textures with. Continuing on with um, more um, bits and pieces that we need, uh, we need a roller, a rubber roller if you have one, but also a foam roller is really good. Those trays, and one of those trays I have a wet rug to clean my fingers and a dry rug. Uh, when you work in the classroom, you will probably have to uh, do it in small groups because um, um, a printing uh, experience for 25 children is can be chaotic. So. We have to let think that we are going to work in groups of four. Today we will do two kinds of prints. We are trying to do a one color print for the very young children, just paint uh, color and texture. And a, w another one that is a bit more complex, this one involves um, two colors or three colors. So I'll show you how to do it. So here we have the jelly pad, the paper behind the jelly pad, so um, and a good cover for the table. And the paint is going to go like a line of paint on the top there. And with the roller, we are going to roll that color up and down like this, pressing down, rolling out the paint, and rolling the other way so we cover all the corners and all the edges that, like that, and then with a tool, a homemade tool, we can start creating patterns. So your teacher, your mom, or your dad can create these patterns like this. Or if you ladies are working there in those art societies that want to make um, Christmas paper, Christmas cards, concertina books, that is the perfect technique to use. So the applications are really, really 
uh, it, it could it will work for different age groups. So there we have the jelly pad with all the text just like that. Repetition. We are repeating the same the same um, shape, and I'll add some lines. I have this tool called um, a rubber tool. I think it might be called. All of this you can find in art shops. And more lines just to create a different effect here. So we're working, we can't spend a lot of time doing this because the paint eventually will dry. So you have to work a bit faster. I'm not saying that you have to really, really hurry, but working faster, a bit faster, will give you that opportunity for the paint to stay wet. So just to, to add some contrast. Contrast means that we are doing different things here. And we are ready to take the print. So to take the very simple print, we just put the paper. We are going to use a bigger size of paper. So we are going, the best thing is to sink to match this edge of the paper here with that edge here. That will give you a print that it will go on the center. So you match that, let it fall down. And with a flat hand, you wrap very gently like this. With the other hand, you hold the print on place. No knuckles, no fingers, flat hand. And then I'll check, I'll hold on, I'll check my print, and my print is done. There we are. That's a very simple print. Do the second print, which is a bit more complex than the first one. We are going to create a registration system. So when we print, when we print, the paper will fall again and again, right on the same position. So this is our registration system. You put the two pieces of paper together there, and with sticky tape, stick and create a hinge for the paper. So one there, one here, and one in the middle, a little one in the middle. So the paper will work this way. You print, you take it off, you print again, you take it off. We'll start with yellow. We don't paint there, we don't need a lot of paint. That's sort of a yellowy, mm, it's, it's orange. Uh, I have this rubber roller here that I used before. So with the uh, wet rag that I have here, I got here, we are going to clean that quickly. I should have done this before. And then we are going to do the same operation, rolling up and down, and trying to mix the paint on the jelly pad, like that. So it will give us an effect. You will see the print is going to be a bit of yellow, a bit of red, and even a bit of green, the way I'm doing it. So this is my paper. I let it down here, gently. Again, applying a bit of pressure with flat, flat hand, holding, checking, and there is the background color. Now we are going to apply the second color in the same manner, like that, rolling up and down, a bit of paint. If before I apply the paint up on the top of the jelly pad, but you can also apply the paint, roll out the paint on these trays and then apply. So you can do it both ways, like that. Now, I'm going to create some textures to go with that background. With this, this is a, um, a rubber, sort of a, a little um, hand tool. I'm 
I'll do some textures here. So the reason that I'm doing these textures is I'm going, as I scratch, uh, I'll bring the color in the background. You will see, you will understand that when, when you actually see it. The more you scratch, the more of the color, the first color you will bring back in. And I'll do a bit of more scratching there, opening bits of that color, because it's important that the color that we printed first shows through. So what I'm doing, pressing, twisting, pressing, twisting, pressing, twisting, to create that pattern. It's all about patterns and textures, but you can also do uh, something like a, a self-portrait, uh, a portrait of a, 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 um, a horse, or a dog, or a landscape. So we are ready. We have the jelly pad ready with the second color. Our first color is here. We are going to put this gently over, and it should fall in on the same place. Rub, rub, rub. This way, that way. Check your print. And that is the second color print. So at the end of this monoprinting experience, by the way, monoprints means that you can do one. Um, one print, because you can't do with this technique, you won't be able to do one that is exactly to the other, and then you have two or three the same. But you can print many monoprints that are different. So you will have, at the end of the experience, you will have two, three, four prints with every number your mom or your teacher would like you to do, or you decide to do. So I have here some prints. Um, the idea is that you can print on anything. You can use white paper, as we did before, uh, before here, colored paper, or in this case, we have two prints here on newspaper, and they're beautiful. And when you have so many prints, also you can make a book. This is a concertina book made out of extra prints that I have. If you enjoy the experience, visit our website and we'll see you next time. Thank you.